Hello there everybody. Right, this is my R378 LNER class D49 stroke I loco called Cheshire. You can see how old it is. It's got the old Hornby Railways. Now they just call themselves just Hornby these days. I got this today at WD Models for £55 and it says with smoke. I'm not sure what that means. I'll just show you. There's not much around the box. I'll just show you the side of the box. As I just said, R378 LNER Class D41 Stroke 1 Loco. It's called Cheshire and it's by Hornby Railways. And it's got, you can't really see through the plastic there because of the polystyrene, but you can see it had an old price tag there in the corner but they obviously taken off can't quite read what it says there but let's just see what we've got and they had this this logo displayed in a glass cabinet and I thought this was brand new and you see why I thought this was brand new no paperwork with it I've got to ask about that ready now it's a 440 very good condition you can see why I thought it was brand new even the bloke in the shop said it hadn't been used much. And I asked him for giving me a test run to make sure it worked. And he did splutter at first, but he got it to run in. So let's put it up on. Let's have another quick look. Now, this is actually the tender, feels a lot heavier than the actual loco itself. Oh, I'm not sure. This may have tender pickup because there is actually a metal spike, and that's metal there. So we'll have to give that a test to find out if it's got tender pickups on it. Let's give this a close up and push. I'll show you inside the cab there. As you can see, it's not painted. It has got a lot of detail, but none of it has been painted. You can see all the pipes, you can just about see the dials, see the firebox. Good detail, but none of it's been painted up. It's also all, so it's quite difficult to see. Let's about see it's inside of the cab. Now it is LNER number. 2753. The cab has got glazed windows where the front bit is, but the back end's not. It's got metal whistles there, running plate, elastic, buffers aren't sprung. It's got standard couplings there. It's got a handle there, which is actually screwing out. There's another handles on there on the actual loco there, but they're just molded. I think there's a little toolbox just there. A very nice running red line along the running plate there. And then on the back, you can just see there is actually another handrail there sticking out. Water, well, that's where you put the water in, just in the middle there. And the water tanks on the side. Coal is not removable, I don't think. And on, on top, there's a air vent, but you can't open it or close it. And on the front, smoke door does not open. There's a little rail that goes around the front there. Got a very nice red buffer beam there. It's got very good coupling rods there, as you can see. It looks like the front bogey there, well there's a wire going to it, so got pickups on the front bogey as well. And I've just noticed there's a builder's plate, just cut and do a close up on it. It's just that I can't get much closer to that, but another one, yeah, there's one both sides. So let's take this downstairs from my test track and see how test it goes. track. Well, I'm now on my test track. Just notice something. Two things. First of all, there's the reversing rod just there, which I forgot to show you earlier. Secondly, this is very freely running, which tells me, and this doesn't run too well. So this, I think the, the moat, this is tender driven, and also on the packaging it says with smoke. So I don't know what that means. So. I can't see any smoke coming out. I don't know if I have to add something to it. Let's find out if it's tend driven. Yeah, the 
wheels for him to be going round. Again, yeah, the motor's in the tender. I don't know if you can quite see that, but the wheels are actually going round on the tender. I don't think the wheels on the loco are very good at picking up because the motor's not going round. Yeah, so this is just, everything is about the tender, not the loco. Let's give it one more run on my test track before we take it upstairs. Seems to be okay. Let's take Hello, it upstairs. And welcome to Midland Monsell Model Railway, the Triple MR. Here's my sure. Cheshire. You will now notice there will be two other locos running as well. The Headstone Tunnel. There's the Middle Selection Bridge. And there's the Middle Compound. Coming up fast behind it is the S and J and R. I can't see any smoke, even though it did say with smoke. I have to go back to my WD models and ask them more about it. Seems to be running fine. Let's try it backwards. More power. Let's put some rolling stock out. On the back of the Cheshire, I've loaded a natural cobalt wagon, Graham's Golden Lager tank wagon, three of the Coca Cola box wagon on the flat trailer, Diet Coke tank wagon, normal Coke flat wagon, and a towed van. So let's, I haven't done any. Thing on the other two, see how it goes. Oh, quite well.
You get the idea now. I hope you like my review of the Cheshire. The 440 LNER. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you. Bye.